this your girl Queen Danny back with another video. So today we're going to be making lemon cream cheese pound cake. Um, so let's get right into it. So you're going to need, I like to use the sundown swine down cake flour. So you need three, three cups, which is three cups of flour. You need three cups of sugar. Three sticks of butter, one pack of cream cheese, six eggs, a zest of a whole lemon, one fourth teaspoon of bacon powder, no nope, bacon soda, my mistake, one fourth teaspoon of bacon soda and a half teaspoon of salt, that's what's in here. Then you're gonna need some, I like to mix it with vanilla extract and lemon extract. And I have also one fourth cup of lemon juice. I'm gonna put everything in the um, description box so you guys can know. Also, you're gonna need a buck pan and you're gonna preheat pre your oven to 325. So we're gonna get over to the mixing bowl and we'll get this cake going. So, First thing you're gonna do is add your butter. So you got three sticks of butter. I like to get all the butter off. And a re reminder, everything is at room temperature. Your eggs, your butter, your cream cheese, everything is at room temperature. Mix the butter and cream cheese together. We waste no butter. <laughs> You're gonna put this down. Mix it. Until it's well combined. In between, make sure you scrape down the, uh, the walls of the bowl. Now that's well combined. See, it's nice and fluffy. The butter and cream cheese. Now we're going to add our three cups of sugar. Add it right on in. I'm going to scrape the sides down. So we're going to let this run for like four to five minutes until it's nice and creamy and it should turn like a yellowish color. So we're going to turn this on. So we don't want no grit. So you got to make, make sure you mix it well enough. Since these C is fluffy. So the next thing we're gonna add is the six egg. I'm gonna take these out this bowl because I'm gonna crack them one by one and I'm gonna add it to the mixture. 
let's get this started and then we're gonna add it one egg at a time so that the egg can get well combined inside the mix one. I'm going to add one more. Oh, see two went in. remember cake flour hopefully you can see I'm sorry but cake flour I shifted it it comes shifted but I shifted it one more time through the shifter shipper also I forgot to add the salt and the baking powder to the flour so I'm just gonna add it in the dry ingredients and I'm gonna use a whisk just to mix it to make sure everything is well combined make sure everything out and then just use a wisp just to mix it just to make sure it's evenly just through all of it So that's about half. So you won't have a mess below. Then once it get combined, you can put it on a little higher. But you will have a cake mess in here. See, that's well combined. Stop it. Add the other half. Now, if you have a hand mixer, you can use a hand mixer also.
this fresh squeezed lemon juice. Also, while I got it up, I like to add some pure honey. I mean, <laughs> pure lemon. One teaspoon and a dash of vanilla. Just a little bit. That's it. Let this roll and then we'll be ready to mix in the lemon zest. That's well mixed. So we're going to lift it up. Get all everything off the beaters. This one we're going to add the lemon zest straight to it. You don't want to add it to the mixing when it's using the pedal because you don't want your lemon zest to get stuck. Look like we lost light. That's great. And you just mix it. You're gonna take you some Baker's Joy and your butt pan, and you're gonna stir it. We're gonna take our batter, put it right on in. nice and even and we're gonna put it in the oven for an hour and 20 minutes depends on your oven so after an hour I'm gonna check it with a toothpick if it come clean then we good to go I'm gonna show you how to make this simple icing so you're gonna need some powdered sugar regular powdered sugar That's good enough. Then you're gonna squeeze lemon. I'm gonna squeeze it in here so we won't get the seeds. Get a whisk. Pour the lemon juice in. If you don't want it real lemony. You could just use milk, two tablespoons. So we're gonna put a little. A little goes a long way with powdered sugar. You don't want it 
it real thin either. So we're making a little glaze. So it's thick. Add some more. I'm gonna put the seeds in. This is my favorite cake. Lemon cream cheese pound cake. Oh my goodness. Pour it over the top of the cake once it settles a bit cool. So thank you guys for watching. The next clip you'll see is me pouring a glaze over.